Welcome back to NoobTube TV. Today we're going to be showing you how to play Madden 13, at least from the demo perspective. Some things may change between now and the retail release on August 28th, but this should give you a little bit of a leg up on the competition, whether it's real people online or just versus a CPU. The first thing you're going to do anytime you play Madden is determine your settings, and in this case we're actually going to make our settings all Madden, just that way we know how to uh, best approach this game from its quote-unquote most difficult level. Uh, it's one of those things, if you're new to the game or you're just not uh, familiar with Madden, you might want to put it on Pro or even Rookie. But in this case, we want to show you the most difficult uh, mode, that way we can get an idea of how good the CPU will be, at least right out of the box. And then we're going to pick conventional play calling rather than game play on, or game where the uh, CPU makes the play kick calls off. for you. And the first thing we're going to teach you how to do is kick off and kick off return. This is actually the first play I had in Madden and you can say I was a little bit lucky in it. Uh, anytime you return a kick, whether it's a punt or a kickoff, you never want to hit the sprint button as soon as you get it. You want to give the blockers in front of you a little bit of time to build up the blocking, let the play develop in front of you and then hit that sprint button. In this case it was a pretty quickly developing play and that hole was right there. So anytime you return a kick, or a punt, in, that, in this case it was a kick. Always remember, don't exactly hit the sprint button, which is right trigger immediately. You want to give it a little bit of time, let that play develop. Then we're going to show you how to kick. Kicking is what it used to be back in the old days of Madden, where you just use the right analog stick. You knock back on it, you pull back on the right analog stick, you press forward. We're going to show you again with a punt how you can pull back and then push forward. In this case my right analog sticks a little bit messed up so I don't really get good power on them. But if you can see the little meter you just it says RS on it. If you pull it back straight and push it straight the ball will go straight. If you pull it back and push it to one side or the other it'll go to one side or the other. So hopefully this simplifies it a little bit for you. Just pull back on that right stick and push forward on the right stick and there's your kicking. Next we have the passing game. Uh, they, they fixed a lot of things in the passing game this year and one of the big things you're going to start noticing is uh, wide receivers they won't know to look for the ball unless their icon is bright. If it's a faded color on their icon, which we're going to show you here, if you look to the far sides of the screen, these wide receivers are going to be running deep. Actually, everyone is because it's third and 13. But if you look at their icons as they start running, they're actually, some of them are faded out. You can see the X, even uh, B, and right bumper were actually faded out. So make sure you pay attention to whether or not they're faded or they're bright. That way they know whether or not to look for the pass from you at that point. You're going to see it again here with short passes. They're going to look for the ball a lot quicker. So we're going to slow it down a little bit for you and you'll be able to notice that Randy Moss in this case who is X he's gonna be looking for the ball right away because he's only running about a seven about a seven yard turnaround route here and another thing is when they, whenever you throw the pass to someone you see someone guarding them to one side or the other just use the left analog stick as you're throwing it and tilt it one way or the other and that pass will actually go to the right or left shoulder or over their head or whatnot. That way they know how to better approach that that throw that you're about to make. So hopefully that helps you a little bit with the passing game. The next thing we're going to look at is the running game. Running in Madden has changed. Uh, this is actually very similar to last year and it goes a lot along the lines of the return game. You don't want to push the right trigger. You don't want to sprint or press the right trigger immediately. You want to let that let that blocking in front of you build up. And in this case, another thing you want to look at anytime you run the ball, follow the route that they're giving you. That's why they give it to you that way. The little red arrow, that's the direction you're going to want to run the ball. Don't go and try to turn it and run it the other way without flipping the play, which you can do with the right analog stick before the snap. What you're going to do is just make sure every time you run the ball, you run in the direction first, then you get open, and then you hit the sprint button. And we'll be able to show you again a little bit better in the, in the future, but in this case we just want to be able to show you how exactly to approach this game. Next is playing defense as a linebacker. Uh, you can play defense as, of course, a lineman, linebacker, or defensive back. In this case we're going to show you a linebacker just because it's one of the most dynamic positions to play defense as. 
The first thing you want to look at is anytime you're playing defense, especially as a linebacker, the strafe button is your friend. The strafing is pretty much shuffling. If you ever played uh, basketball, they always tell you get in your defensive stance. This is going to give you a little bit better control. You can square up on your competition a little bit easier, and it gives you the ability to really uh, focus on playing defense as a defender rather than trying to almost turn it into an offensive game. It gives you a little bit uh, better reaction time, etc. So in this case you're going to see me be able to strafe and I actually don't get the tackle but I, I close up a running lane for that running back. And we're going to show you a couple other ways here in the next uh, few seconds how to play defense. This is one of those things in the NFL, defense is becoming like almost a dying art form because it's a very offensively minded game. In this case, you see me playing what's called zone defense against my uh, my opponent. So, or in this case, it's actually man. So if like I'm assigned to play to man up against someone, I need to stick with him because if, if you don't stick with the guy you're supposed to be guarding, that quarterback's going to throw it right to him. If you're in if you're in zone defense, it strictly means you just play that little area of the field, and we'll discuss that more as we get into the uh, future videos and into the retail release but hopefully this teaches you a little bit better how to play defense how to approach it uh, like I said we're going to be approaching Madden 13 from the get-go this year we're going to hopefully give you a little bit better idea how to play this game more effectively if you're not new to this game you know how to play it you don't necessarily need to watch these videos but for those of you who are new to the game and trying to learn how to play it a little bit better we really hope these help you happy gaming